Oh, hi, oh, hi, oh. Welcome to the So Japanese Podcast, a podcast where we talk about all things uniquely Japanese.、Uh, my name is John. My name is Risuke.、Uh, today's episode,、mm-hmm. we're going to talk about、um, fast food in Japan.、Mm-hmm. So, we're going to talk about five of the most popular, one of the most popular, of the、um, most popular. Yeah. Um, fast food chains in、mm-hmm. Japan. I mean, Obviously, there's so many. And、um, for sure, we can do this again. Yeah, we can talk about more with different、uh, restaurants. Exactly. Yeah.、Um, in later <clears throat> episodes,、mm-hmm. if、uh, our listeners are interested.、Mm-hmm. But、um, the five we cho- chose, I would say, are the most common. Common. Yeah. Yeah. And、um, I know I ate a lot of it. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> you, can find, you can find anywhere in Japan. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Big anywhere. cities, small cities. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere. And then、um, at the end, we're going to have another street level Japanese segment.、Mm-hmm. So、uh, the first fast food、mm-hmm. um, joint <laughs>、yeah. we're going to talk about today is、um, Yoshinoya. Yoshinoya, yeah. Uh, Yoshinoya is、um, it's like an orange and black sign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.、Um, you can see them everywhere.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, it, briefly, we'll talk about, like, we'll touch on the history、mm-hmm. of each restaurant that、mm-hmm. we choose,、mm-hmm. um, what they're popular for,、mm-hmm. and、uh, we will share our go to items、sure. that we order、sure. at these establishments. Yep. So,、um, really quickly,、mm-hmm. Yoshinoya was founded in 1899.、Mm, long time ago. Yeah, long yeah. time ago. Yeah. I think that was a、uh, Meiji era after the, the Japanese law changed to. I didn't know, but supposedly you're not allowed to eat meat at、okay. some point. But then after the law changed, and then.、Uh, People are allowed to eat meat.、Mm-hmm. So then Yoshinoya started. And originally, Yoshinoya, well, Yoshinoya is famous for beef b o w l Yeah, beef,、uh, beef bowls. Beef bowls, yeah. yeah. So like uh, braised uh, thin sliced beef with、uh, onion, and then they just put on top of the white rice. Yes. Yeah. And、uh, so, but originally, They had more like a sukiyaki style bowl. So right now, you only get meat、mm-hmm. and a little bit of onions. Yes. But it used to be they,、uh, they put meat and tofu and negi, scallions, s c a l l i o n and shirataki, which is、uh, like a, it's not grass noodle, but like yam noodles. Yeah, yam noodles. So it's like a really sukiyaki style.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then.、Uh, After a、uh, couple years later, they, they moved to、uh, Tsukiji Market, which is the, one of the biggest fish markets. Now, Tsukiji Market moved to Toyosu,、mm-hmm. so it's different. But yeah,、uh, they opened the Yoshinoya and Tsukiji Market, and then all the Tsukiji Market people are busy, right? So they wanted to make sure they get quick and go. Okay. So that's why they switch just the beef. And also, they think, oh, yeah, because people want to eat meat.、Mm-hmm. They don't need anything else.、Mm-hmm. So、uh, it's good for c u s t o m e r and it's good for them too. So they、um, condense their menu yep.、Uh, to make it、uh, easy faster, to serve, faster. Easy to serve faster. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah. So, and、uh, that. Gets really popular and then it's the like、uh, one of the、uh, famous d i s h in in that area.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you can find Yoshinoya's everywhere. Everywhere. Around the world too. Around the world too. Yeah.、Um, so nowadays they're popular for yeah, the beef rice bowls、mm-hmm. um, and it includes free of charge.、Um, 
mm-hmm. red pickled ginger. Yep. Uh, green tea. Mm-hmm. You can uh, get extra sauce. Mm-hmm. You can order extra onions. Yep. All for um, no charge. Yeah. Um, and then you can also, for a charge, you can add uh, a miso soup. Salad. Uh, salad. Um, mm-hmm. Raw egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's common too. Yeah. Yeah, it's raw. common in Japan to eat mm-hmm. um, raw egg. Raw egg with on rice. rice. Yeah. Um, you can also. I didn't know this. Or mm-hmm. If I did, I would have ordered it. Mm-hmm. Um, you can ask for the yolk only. Mm, that like I raw know. yolk only, right? Oh, that that's sounds cool. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds better. Yeah. Because like, um, the raw egg on rice, mm. it's good, but it can get too much. It can get mm. too like mm. slimy. It's like a slimy texture, right? Yeah. yeah. But if it's just the yolk, right? It it gets more just mild than mild, mm. more uh, more of the rich. egg flavor, rich. Yeah. And then also, which is common um, in Japan, the soft boiled eggs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and, sorry. Go ahead. And John said that like you can order extra sauce and an extra onion. Mm-hmm. There's a way how to say it. It's okay. It's called uh, more sauce. You call, you say tsuyudaku. Tsuyudaku. Yeah. Tsuyudaku means like more sauce. Okay. So you, you see if you order to that means like you see a lot of liquid uh, on uh, the bottom, bottom of the, the rice <laughs> okay. yeah and, and then, how do you say extra onions onions uh negi daku so daku. daku means more okay so negi daku means you get more onions if you like yeah and i think you still get same amount of meat mm-hmm. they're just gonna give you extra onion on top um all these restaurants that we're gonna talk about there are uh, must tries yeah if you're visiting yeah. in japan must try and it's if, cheap it's cheap it's yeah. affordable yeah. if you're living in japan i'm mm-hmm. sure you've already um ate at all these places mm-hmm. again because it's affordable and quick mm-hmm. and the quality is super good mm-hmm. i feel like fast food in japan doesn't have the same reputation as fast food in western countries western country. yeah. where it's like not as healthy mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. not as good quality mm-hmm. but in japan it's good quality it's good. yeah and healthy it's the one of the biggest food country, so yeah, it makes exactly. Sense. Yeah. Um, so before we talk about our go tos, mm. um, I forgot to mention that we'll also explain how you order. Yeah. At yeah. each of these That's establishments. Important. Yeah. So for Yoshinoya, mm-hmm. um, you sit down, and mostly they have only counter seats. Yes. Yeah. There's some bigger location. There's also tables. Tables. I know, but yeah, um, you order with an employee. Mm-hmm. A worker will come up to you, mm-hmm. um, ask you what you want to order, mm-hmm. and then when the order is ready, they'll bring it to you. Yep. Um, and it's really quick. Really Seriously, quick. it's like a yeah. minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you pay at the cashier. So there's like a cashier mm-hmm. area yep. Yep. Uh, where you pay. Pay. Yep. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. So that's Yoshinoya. Yeah? That's Yoshinoya. Yeah. Uh, what do you order at Yoshinoya? Well, I go beef bo- balls. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. with with raw egg. Mm-hmm. And, well, I gonna order uh, large. Mm-hmm. So omori. Okay. Yeah, and then there's one more, like extra large mm-hmm. called tokumori. Okay. I, yeah. I've never ordered the the extra large before. Mm. So my go-to order would be obviously. The beef bowl. Yeah. I don't think I've had anything else at Yoshinoya oh, yeah. other than the beef bowl. Well, yeah. Like, they don't have so much other uh, options. Yeah. Compared to others. But... And then I will order um, a soft-boiled egg. Oh. Onsen egg. Onsen tamago. Aye. That's uh, my go-to. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. And I put a lot of uh, pickle ginger. I love it. Yeah, so... It's <clears throat> so good with it. Where you sit, there mm-hmm. will be like a container of them. There's a container with full, of, yeah. And you help yourself. You help yourself. Yes. Yeah, I seen a lot of Japanese people. They load it up. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. they're eating more ginger mm-hmm. than than beef. <laughs> Which is, if I see those people, and I feel like, oh, no manner. <laughs> yeah. You're not giving the respect to the no. cow. Yeah, no. <laughs> but again, it's free, so yeah. you can't complain, right? Um, the next one we're going to talk about is 
Matsuya. Matsuya. Right. Uh, Matsuya was founded in 1966, so mm-hmm. quite a long time after Yoshinoya.、Mm-hmm. But you can tell they kind of modeled their business、yep. after Yoshinoya. Yeah. The good part about Matsuya, it's open 24 hours.、Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, a lot of Yoshinoya also、yes. open 24 hours, but now it's different, maybe. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Matsuya, I generally never went、mm-hmm. during like normal hours.、Mm-hmm. I always went after my shift at the bar. Okay. So I would go like three, four, five,、yeah. six in the morning. y o u hungry and then you, you want something、there. quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.、Um, so do you want to touch on the brief history of it? Yeah, yeah.、Uh, so Matsuya uh, was uh, start after Yoshinoya, and it's actually because. The founder of Matsuya, they, he, he used to have a Chinese restaurant、uh, close to the first、uh, location of Yoshinoya.、Okay. And then he heard、uh, the famous beef balls from Yoshinoya.、Mm-hmm. So, what he did was he go there every day with a small note, small memo pad. Then, then every day he g o there, he,、uh, he took notes. Took note Uh-huh. Maybe service wise, and then how they do, how they cook, taste,、mm-hmm. everything. And after two years, he decided to open beef, bowl,、uh, beef bowls restaurant instead of Chinese restaurant.、Mm-hmm. And, but one、uh, different thing as Yoshinoya, he, the founder, t h i n k people should eat rice and miso soup no matter what. So, in Matsuya, if you order, well, you order any food, you always get free miso soup. Yeah. So, if you don't want to spend extra money for miso soup, maybe Matsuya is to go. Is it all you can drink miso soup? Can no, you keep no, ordering no, just no, one per no, order? Just one per order. Yeah. And so, it's、um, more of like the traditional sets、uh, on the tray、mm-hmm. where it's separated. You get a Bowl of rice,、mm-hmm. so the meat is、mm-hmm. not on the rice, right? Well, I mean, no, they have the beef balls. Okay. Yeah, so they have beef balls too,、mm-hmm. but then they also have called、uh, teishoku,、mm-hmm. which is you get a main dish with a side of a rice bowl、mm-hmm. and then a miso soup. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And、um, so they're popular for, for their beef bowls. But. Uh huh. They have other s、uh, dish for famous, it, which is、uh, hamburger.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. And hamburg is what? It's,、um, I think Matsuya does like a pork version. So it's just like a, a pork <clears throat> a pork patty. Excuse、mm. me. I、um, think it's pork and beef, though. Pork and beef? Okay. Because in Japan, hamburg is always, always mixed. Always mixed. That's yeah. right. Ha ha.、Um, And it's just the, the patty.、Mm-hmm. There's no bread.、Mm-hmm. But it's thicker than what you think inside the hamburger. Yes, yes.、Yeah. It's a, a thick、mm. patty、mm-hmm. on a sizzling pa- plate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With the demi g r a s s a u c e Yeah. And、um, how you order at Matsuya is、mm. the famous、uh, Japanese ticket machines. Yeah. Yeah. So.、Um, Sometimes they're outside of the store,、mm-hmm. sometimes they're just right in the door.、Mm-hmm. And、um, m- sometimes you'll see just the price and the name of、mm-hmm. the food、mm-hmm. the f- on the button,、mm-hmm. but sometimes you'll see the picture too. Yeah, I think、uh, right now a, a lot of restaurants they put the picture with price on top of the machine, ticket、mm-hmm. machine. So at least you know, but I'm not sure if there's English. Yeah. You just have to、um, match, match. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. the characters and、yeah. the price. Yeah. Or, worst case, I, if they're not crazy busy, for sure you can ask、yeah. and then they're going to support you to what you want to order. And again, in Japan, the pictures of the food look exactly the same <laughs> as <laughs>、yeah. when, what yeah. you get. Not going to scam you. Yeah. yeah.、Um, so, yeah, it's not like when you see a commercial here. Of、um, a Big Mac and it looks so high. <laughs> When you get it, it's like, what、yeah. is this? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah.、Um, so you order through a ticket machine,、mm-hmm. you press the button, 
mm-hmm. what you want to order. Mm-hmm. Pay the money. Mm-hmm. You can get your change. Mm-hmm. You give the ticket to the worker. The worker. They. Yep. Yeah. They. How can I say? They'll rip it in They'll half. They'll rip it in half. Yeah. yeah. Give you one give side. Give you half. Yeah. And then um, they will. They will the make. Yeah. yeah. And bring it to you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Do they give you like a number at the table? So you put the number on the table. I think they have number yeah. for them. Okay. So, because so they know where you sit. Yeah. So Matsuya Yoshinoya both mostly they have the counter mm-hmm. with uh, the U yes. shape. Yes. So the workers coming to you in like inside the U, mm-hmm. then then you so customer sit. Around the uh, counter, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then they have the number inside the counter they can see. Yeah. Uh, what's your go-to order at Matsuya? Oh, they used to have uh, like a spicy chicken. I I think it's like a karaage dish. Okay. On top of the rice mm-hmm. with onsen tamago mm-hmm. and miso soup. I love that. When I when I was working in Japan, and same thing like I always go like after work, yeah, so right. like two three a.m. in the morning, and then I order that. Yeah, these restaurants are for the common working folk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, my go-to order would be, um, I remember they had a grilled mackerel. Okay. Oh. So it's like a fillet mm. grilled mackerel mm. with the the daikon, daikon grated daikon. Yeah, grated daikon. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I yeah, that's what I ordered. That. I think oh. live, living there. So Japanese. So Japanese, right? It was yeah. the only time I really ate fish in Japan, other than like sushi. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's why I first ordered it, because like, damn, I didn't have fish in a while. <laughs> oh, so you kind of missed the yeah. fish. Yeah. Uh, um, so that's Matsuya. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about uh, the price range? Maybe we should say that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So Yoshinoya, a beef bowl, I would say what? I'll say like under five hundred dollars. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, five hundred uh, yen. yen. Yeah. Sorry. So yen, about yen. five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Matsuya about the same price about range. The same. Because they always fighting, <laughs> trying to match the price or trying to uh, cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. They try to be competitive. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. the sizzling plate dishes are probably a little bit more, mm-hmm. but just the um, the meat on rice. Mm. Roughly the same price. Yeah, yeah, like all those teishoku, maybe like hapyak yen, kyuhyak yen. Less than a thousand. Less yen. than a thousand. Yeah, and also one uh, good tip: uh, all the price is including tax. Uh, in that's Japan. a good one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, I think I want to say majority of the world it's like that. You see a price mm-hmm. that's including tax. Mm-hmm. I know in Europe it's like that, mm-hmm. but here in Canada. No, right? Right. A lot of foreigners complain about that. Why do I now have to do math? Yeah, exactly. Or it's not actually the price. It's kind of false advertising. And and also after, on top of that, you have to pay tip. Yeah. Tip on top of the on tax amount. On top of the including tax. So yeah. It's, yeah. Well, again, oh, so Yoshinoya Matsuya anyway, yeah. you guys can eat uh, less than 1000 yen. So yeah. less than 10 bucks. Less than 10 bucks. Yeah. We should do uh, an episode on what makes Canada weird. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, it's not so Japanese. Okay. Um, the next one. Let's let's um, mm-hmm. do another Japanese um, okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one I would say is Ruske's favorite, oh, right? This is, oh, how, it's, I'm uh, already hungry. <laughs> Koko Ichibanya. Koko Ichibanya is. Curry restaurant, Japanese curry. curry chain. Yeah, Japanese curry chain. Yeah. Uh, founded in 1978. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like way older. But, I thought so too. Um, it's founded in uh, Ryusuke's hometown yep. of Nagoya. Yeah, I mean, technically, they're from Ichinomiya Shi, mm-hmm. which is next Nagoya. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I also like they're from Nagoya. And yeah, uh, so he, the, the founder, had the uh, uh, small coffee shop like my parents had, Kisaten. Mm-hmm. And then his wife uh, is very good cook. And then her curry rice was very popular. 
so uh, he was kind of like why don't you make more curry and then uh, they start getting way more popular than just doing coffee shop so then he decided to okay let's uh, let's ex expand this business like as a chain mm -hmm. yeah and then after that like Kokoichi is the always uh, biggest curry chain restaurant in Japan and it's very unique so when someone thinks of curry they think of uh, India Indian curry right yeah. maybe um, but Japanese curry is its own thing mm -hmm. you can taste curry spice yeah but it's um, very mild mild yeah um, a little bit sweeter sweeter yeah um, I think thicker yeah um, but it's its own thing mm -hmm. um, if you haven't tried Japanese curry Mm -hmm. please do mm -hmm. yeah um so what's um koko mm -hmm. ichiban yeah mm -hmm. famous for uh so their most common curry sauce is pork curry sauce mm -hmm. so like if you go there then if you order curry that means you get pork curry mm -hmm. and the the good things about uh koko ichiban yeah on the menu there's a like you can uh, I mean like curry with uh cutlet different, different toppings yeah meat toppings seafood meat toppings, toppings vegetable seafood toppings topping. so that's on the menu yeah. but you actually can add whatever you want mm -hmm. so of course you have to pay for every single uh, different topic uh, topping mm -hmm. uh, but o honestly you can load it up as much as you want mm -hmm. so for me I always order uh, uh, pork curry with uh, fish fry and then fried chicken and sausage. Wow. Yeah. And rice. And also you can, you can say that, I mean, you can choose how, many, how much of rice. Regular rice is 300 gram, but you can go 400 gram or 500 or even like a kilo. Mm-hmm and then uh, uh, spiciness also you can choose from uh, mild or even sweet through uh, 10 times spicier so yeah the um, coco is famous for the curry mm -hmm. but uh, you can your meal is very customizable yes so yeah. you uh, order with the server the menu mm -hmm. is in english as well and it's mm -hmm. very um, simple to understand mm -hmm. you choose your curry sauce mm -hmm. there's pork curry beef curry um, vegetable curry mm -hmm. sauce mm -hmm. you choose your curry sauce mm -hmm. you choose which toppings mm -hmm. there's many different types of fried toppings mm -hmm. um, how many grams of rice you want yep the spice level yep and also I think recently they added when we looked at the menu recently oh, mildness yeah we I don't remember seeing this ever I didn't but no. they call it mild, mildness level, which mm -hmm. is you can add sweetness. Mm -hmm. They say the mm -hmm. sweetness comes from honey and um, fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can add sweetness to cool. your curry. Cool. Um, another thing that they're popular for is they're free of charge. Again, it comes in like, a, like the pickled ginger at Yoshinoya. Mm. There's a container at every table mm. and it has a uh, fukujinzuki. Fukujinzuki. And that's... Um, uh radish daikon radish mm -hmm. and then uh, a little bit of carrot mm -hmm. and i think they put a little bit uh kombu seaweed or something i think so too and maybe lotus root too mm -hmm. it's and like a red color no it's uh kokoichi is brown color okay normally hukujinsuke when, when we say hukujinsuke it's red color mm -hmm. if you buy at the grocery store mm -hmm. but kokoichi Fukujinsuke is brown. Okay. But it's so good. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. I go, well, I'm a fan of them. I mm -hmm. love them. If one of you guys, uh, I mean, from Kokoichi, listen to us, please, please, please <laughs> support us. Anyway, so uh, we go there and we start eating just Fukujinsuke yeah. and then drink water. Yeah. Your water gets so sweet. So we are always enjoying it. Do you, do you 
put a lot of the Fukujin Zuke on on your uh, Yes, so I was complaining about ginger pickle, <laughs> but actually, <laughs> so if question. I saw you, wow, bad manners, <laughs> bad manners. You can, but I have seen it like um, where you see tables of Japanese people at Coco, and mm. by the end of it, that container is empty. empty. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's I so know. good. It's That's so good. So good. You must have it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that you order mm -hmm. through the server, they bring yeah. it to you, and then yeah. and you then, pay oh, yeah. at the cashier stand yeah. near the door. Yeah, and server anyway. When you order, mm -hmm. server gonna ask ask you like how many rice you want and yes. then how spicier you want. Mm -hmm. So, but again, they might not speak English. So, yeah. but you just point the menu again. Yeah, yeah exactly. Is super, super easy to understand. Yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah, uh, has picture. So. Um, my go-to order is the pork curry, mm -hmm. um, a little bit extra rice, I think like mm -hmm. 400 grams, 400 gram, yeah. um, but I order the, the lightly crisp chicken. It's not pari like pari katsu. Chicken. No, it's not like breaded with panko, but More, it's, it's, like, it's like battered, uh, lightly battered. I think it's crispy. It's crispy, but it's yeah. not breaded. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Um, pari pari chicken, pari pari chicken. Yeah. Um, the first time I actually had Coco was mm. in Nagoya. Ah, yeah. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was from Nagoya, ah. but it was the first time ever I had it. And mm. I, it was a consistent place that I went to eat. And then, um, I think halfway through living in Thailand, they mm -hmm. finally opened. Whoa, nice. There's a few of them that opened in like malls in, wow. in Thailand. Oh man. So good. Right. So good. But like. I mentioned before that the Yoshinoya abroad tastes different, mm -hmm. but the cocoa, it tasted similar. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't feel like, oh, it's better in Japan, like way better in Japan. I guess it was like, consistent. They really keep the quality. Yeah, right. Yeah, like their quality control is like insane. And man, you're a huge fan of cocoa. I'm big fan. <laughs> like me and my friend, uh, we call like a cocoa H crab. And then we go <laughs> once in a while and then, but we always say like, Kokoichi is not the curry. Kokoichi is Kokoichi. It's its own thing. Exactly. It's curry, yeah. Curry rice. Yes, it exists. But Kokoichi is like next level of curry rice. So they should make us just Kokoichi. Let's send this episode rice. to uh, Coco uh, head office. Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> you really are pushing for that sponsorship. <laughs> All right. The next two we're going to talk mm. about are um, burger joints. Yeah. Um, the first one is Loteria. Loteria. Yeah. Loteria founded in 1972. Mm -hmm. um, it's part of the Korean latte group. Yeah. Which is uh, the sweets. I sweets like lotte has chocolate yeah. and ice cream and then all those like sweets but i think it's like a big big company it's big company. it's almost like a... johnson and johnson like yeah like they think they own malls it's like a big corporation yeah, in korea right? i think they yeah. they own the mall with uh amusement park yeah something like that uh it's a company that does many many things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and what they're famous for is mm -hmm. Apparently they invented the shrimp burger. Wow. Right. Um, they invented the shrimp burger in 1977 mm -hmm. in Japan. When, um, we say sh shrimp burger, mm -hmm. it's, um, minced, minced the shrimp shrimp. Yeah. It, I would say like a shrimp cake in yeah, here. Shrimp paste. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it's not like you don't see full on shrimp. It's no. minced. No. And it's, um, breaded, breaded and fried, fried. Uh, ebikatsu? Yeah. No, ebikatsu is just like a fried whole shrimp. No, no, that's ebi fry. So ebi ebikatsu fry. is basically, yeah, like shrimp cuts. Yeah. Okay. Shrimp so burger. Yeah. shrimp burger. So mm -hmm. it's um, a crispy fried shrimp. Shrimp. Minced shrimp minced patty. Shrimp. Yeah, and comes. I think comes with uh, tartar sauce. Some like kind of mayo, mayo based. based sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's a burger. Mm -hmm. um, Three hundred and fifty yen mm -hmm. is for that burger. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't know when they invented it. I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, last time mm. I went there before COVID, mm. 
Lotteria wasn't as good as I remembered it when I was mm, living there. Mm, mm, as a young me neither. Man. Me neither. I don't really go. I think the quality has dropped. Mm. But still, a lot of yeah. There's super so popular. many. Yeah. yeah. Um, they have flavors of all. They have like a teriyaki flavored burger. Mm-hmm. Um, but actually, the shrimp burger I prefer McDonald's shrimp burger. Oh, I never try. Then uh, Lotteria. Yeah. Cool. I never um, tried that. We're not gonna talk about McDonald's because yeah, yeah. Is... yeah but I think McDonald's is a a good place to go to, and every country you mm-hmm. visit because mm-hmm. they always have something unique. Mm-hmm. Um, at Lotteria, you order and pay at the counter, like mm-hmm. a fast food place. Mm-hmm. The menu, mm-hmm. in the kitchen, mm-hmm. and then you order. Mm-hmm. Um, at fast food places like KFC, uh, Lotteria, McDonald's, mm-hmm. those type of fast food chains mm-hmm. in Japan, if you flip over the menu, mm-hmm. the menu is always in front of them mm-hmm. in a laminated me- mm-hmm. menu, as well as the menu is above um, their heads. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But if you flip it over, it's always English. Oh. So if you go and it's all Japanese. And you just flip it and then you know. And if the worker, the cashier knows that you don't speak Japanese, mm. they'll probably flip it over for they you. For you, mm-hmm. and then um, you get a number. Mm-hmm. After you order, you get a number to put on your table, mm-hmm. and then they will bring it to you. Okay, cool. Um, you you don't really eat at Lotteria. I don't really eat Lotteria. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe um, I think if I had it, it was teriyaki. But okay, uh, yeah. I remember going there because they had one right at. Himeji Station, so oh, it was something that I would grab quick before uh-huh. work, uh-huh. like a combo. Um, I just would get a few burgers, okay, the teriyaki burger, mm-hmm. shrimp burger, mm-hmm. um, and that's it for Lateria. Mm-hmm. The next one, the last one, mm-hmm. is um, Moss Burger. Moss Burger. I was obsessed with Moss Burger when I was living there. Japanese people love Moss Burger. I went there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but going back, mm. it's not the same. No, it's, it's not, not the, the same. same. Don't know yeah. what it is. Mm. Um, Moss Burger, M O S Burger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, M O S. Apparently, we didn't know. Only <laughs> didn't doing know. research for this episode. Yeah. M O S. It stands for Mountain Ocean Surf. Mm-hmm. I never got like a ocean island vibe from Moss Burger. Well. What I read about how they put this name, it was, mm-hmm. so the founder want to, for this company, I mean, all them, uh, workers, uh, they feel like as a mountain, big, big heart. Okay. And then as a, like an ocean, mm-hmm. like big blue with like nice uh energy okay and then uh, sun uh? surf surf yeah i thought it was sun no it's surf surf that i don't know maybe for the employees to have fun yeah <laughs> yeah um moss Burger founded in 1972 mm-hmm. same time as lotteria mm-hmm. um yep. they're popular is there any history that you researched about uh yeah well the founder he used to work in a completely different uh uh type of job he mm-hmm. was doing and then he he traveled a lot in the u.s mm-hmm. and then he was obsessed with one burger when he visited in the u.s mm-hmm. and then he he thought for sure in japan burger will be famous at some point and at that time was 1972, right? Mm-hmm. So burger wasn't that famous in Japan. So he wanted to bring back the new food culture mm-hmm. to Japan. Mm-hmm. And then he invented this uh, uh, burger shop. Yeah. And then ori- ori- original one was uh, basically it was like very small burger place and only like a couple menus. Yeah. I think Mossberg is also international now. Too. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I know they have in Thailand. Okay. I think they probably... Maybe like Asia, Asia side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It had, I, I don't think I've ever seen it in North America. No, I never. Or in Europe. No. Um, their Moss Burger, it's mm-hmm. named Moss Burger, mm-hmm. is unique because it is a 
normal hamburger, but with、mm. a thick slice of tomato. Yep. And like a ground beef meat sauce. Like meat sauce. Yeah. yeah tomato like, base. Like a type spaghetti type yeah, sauce. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, yeah. In the sandwich as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It sounds super、that's、weird. The, it's weird, but、right? that's the、uh, Moss Burger. Yeah, that's yeah. The, the the franchise name burger. Yeah.、Um, yeah. The first time I ever had a Moss Burger,、mm -hmm. it was so good. Like I、yeah. would go there all the time. And they they make fresh. Yes. So you have to wait a little bit though. Yeah, you do. You do.、Yeah. It's not as quick as like no no no, no no. You actually need to wait like a ten minute, or、yeah. if they're busy, maybe even fifteen minutes. And、uh, they're also famous for their rice burger.、Mm -hmm. So instead of bread,、mm -hmm. it's rice compressed rice compressed patties. Rice, yeah.、Um, and then there's like fried chicken pieces inside. Fried chicken,、it. or I know they do uh, braised uh, burdock gobo. Oh, for the vegetarians. Yeah, that sounds good. Also, uh, uh, it's kind of like a beef bowl beef.、Mm -hmm. They They put it in a rice burger sandwich, but I checked today、mm -hmm. on their menu and I didn't see it. Now what they have is a a bit. It's not even burger to me. It's called Natsumi. Okay. It sounds like a some lady's name. Okay. But basically, you get a bunch of letters. Yeah. And then in between the letters. Yeah. You get a、uh, patty. Yes. Yeah. So、um, no bread. Yeah. That's the keto. Yeah, keto. <laughs> That's the keto、free. burger. Yeah, gluten-free keto yeah. burger. Yeah. Um, and yeah, again, Moss Burger quite affordable.、Mm -hmm. Like their、uh, Moss Burger, Moss Burger is three hundred and ninety yen,、mm -hmm. four bucks.、Mm -hmm. Same as their Rice Burger, about four bucks. And for them, what is good about on the side menu?、Mm -hmm. They have a onion ring. Fries,、mm -hmm. and you actually can order half half. Yes. So like, yes, couple piece of onion ring,、mm -hmm. and then you half of、uh, fries. So, I love onion rings,、mm -hmm. and I love fries,、mm -hmm. and I always like confuse which one sh should I order, <laughs> and this is perfect. So,、yeah. what's your go to? Uh, actually, but for most burger, I always order、uh, katsu sando. Oh really? <laughs> They have a katsu sando. I think I'm so obsessed for katsu sando、okay. when I was a kid. Yeah, and that's why even yeah, our previous work we had the katsu sando and the、um, mixed onion ring and yeah,、um, fries, fries. Yeah.、Um, my go-to order obviously is the the mos burger, mos burger. But、mm -hmm. when they opened in Thailand, I had it. Going back to Japan, I had it. Different. Sadly, I'm not a fan of Moss Burger、uh, anymore. So you say the meat sauce is weird, but you actually like it. I liked it, yeah.、Uh, but now it's like, I don't know, doesn't taste the same. It tastes more, um, uh, more fast foody. Okay, okay. Like it doesn't taste as fresh. Tastes、mm -hmm. more processed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but how you order a Moss Burger, same thing with the other fast food、mm -hmm. chains.、Mm -hmm. Um, you. Order at the front counter. Yep. Then so, it's gonna take time. So yeah. So they give you a number. Then you, you set it down at the table,、yeah. and they'll bring it to you. Yeah. And they bring it to you in like the fifties American diner style baskets. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 And then、uh, just the extra information because、uh, I was checking menu today.、Mm -hmm. They actually collaborate with the sake company, the Dasai. One、okay. of the biggest company.、Uh -huh. They make a shake. Oh, sake shake. But I don't think there's alcohol.、Oh. So like a flavor, like sake flavor shake.、Uh -huh. Yeah. So, It's like the、uh, sake flavored Kit Kat. Exactly.、Yeah. Exactly. I kind of want to try that. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So they're kind of mimicking more like the American style burger chain. For sure.、Right? Yes. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah.、Um, all these places again must、mm. visit. Must. Yeah. When you're in Japan. Yeah, and again, all these restaurants are like cheap. I mean, okay, Kokoichi. Once you, you add, like, if you order what you Yusuke add, orders, yeah, it's like twenty、yeah, bucks. Twenty <laughs> bucks, but so some people complain in Japan because Kokoichi is expensive、mm -hmm. as curry.、Mm -hmm. But again, because you 
you add you add this. extra yeah. topping and but to me it worth it yeah you know oh, you're, you're, i mean you're the 20 bucks fan. 20 bucks in here anyway what are you gonna get right well nowadays it's, it's the price of a fast food meal now right yeah so um mm-hmm. yeah living there you'll mm-hmm. need these places to survive yeah <laughs> or even visit there and visiting sure. there you should at definitely least try. once you go one of this restaurant yeah, one each one each yeah yeah so that does it for this part of um, the episode mm-hmm. again if you guys are interested we're gonna um, do more episodes on japanese fast food mm-hmm. um, this brings us to our next segment yep street level japanese yeah street level japanese i'm gonna eventually stop um, explaining what street level japanese is but it's still kind of new so mm-hmm. i'll explain yep. um street level japanese is a segment where we will use it to introduce um more slang mm-hmm. informal japanese mm-hmm. words um to help you sound more fluent mm-hmm. and comfortable with the language mm-hmm. a lot of these words that you hear in this segment i'm sure you'll hear it on tv Mm-hmm. or any Japanese shows you watch mm-hmm. anime it's, yeah, anime it's normal mm-hmm. um, today's street level Japanese is fitting for the episode is the different ways to say delicious okay so we chose um, three of the most common ways uh, mm-hmm. to say it mm-hmm. um, again with Japanese there's all there's always a formal way to say it yeah and then mm-hmm. a less formal way to say it mm-hmm so the first one, the mm. first way to say it is, I'm sure people know this. People know this yeah. for sure is yeah. oishi, 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 oishi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Oishi. Um, the next one is mm. more informal. More informal. Mm-hmm. Mm. More informal. It's umai. 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 I maybe I gonna say more uma. Yeah, right. So yeah. we we had an uh, a street level yeah, Japanese yeah, yeah. episode where we talked about if you shorten it, mm-hmm. it makes it sound more mm-hmm. slangy. Slangy, yeah. Um so umai, umai, but you would say it as ume, ume, uma, uma, uma. But yeah, umai is actually I think people know cuz umami. Yeah. 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 Umami is kind of same, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then one more, uh mayu this Mayu. is very <laughs> uh unique one Mayu basically umai yeah but uh there was one uh, famous comedian in japan he's big he's big guy mm-hmm. and then he does a lot of like eating tv channel mm-hmm. and then after he ate yeah. he always said Mayu so he kind of invented it yeah yeah uh, and made it popular yeah my yeah. so the different ways to say delicious in japanese mm-hmm. oishi umai mayu mm-hmm. yes oishi or ume Uma. and mayu mayu yeah so that's it for today's street level japanese mm-hmm. i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you can use it yeah. this you can use it anytime anyway. for sure after you or like when you eat something delicious then the, um, ma. Um, ma. <laughs> yeah all right all right so that's does it for today's episode yeah. thanks again for listening thank you so much again if you have any questions mm-hmm. uh any topics you want us to talk about mm-hmm. let us know through instagram um email yeah TikTok, TikTok, YouTube. Yeah, we're everywhere now. Twitter. Slowly getting everywhere. Yes. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and give us a rating on wherever you listen to your podcast. Yes. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Mayu. Mayu.